Hello, I'm Johnny and welcome back to my kitchen. So this is an unboxing of Under the Rowan Trees, which is a stationary subscription box. They do monthly ones, I think they're £25 a month. I don't know how much the post and packaging is. And this one is a quarterly box, £35 a quarter. Um, I didn't pay portion packaging because I did order some other items and I got a coupon code which knocked £5.44 off. So, I don't normally buy these boxes because, honestly, I don't uh, think they're worth it. But I did like the design for this one. It, it had a crow on it. I can't remember who the illustrator was, but it was nice and I liked it and I thought... I'll take the risk and see if it's worth it and get it. So it comes in this bar and plain box with a nice sticker on it. I don't know if you can see. It's got a crow on it anyway. It's like Halloween -y. Um, And so, well, something's rattling inside. Doesn't sound like it's securely wrapped. So I hope nothing's broke. And then the under the rowan trees um, what do you call that washi it's not washi tape it's that nice paper tape that i like eco-friendly um so enough blabbering just get into it right i'm into it now use my trusty finger cutter so well it hasn't been um wrapped up properly look just everything's all over and by looking at that it doesn't look like there's very much in the box. I don't want this to be a morning video. I was going to be very hopeful about it. Um, yes, presentation is key and that is not well presented. Just shoved a bit of tissue paper in the corner of the box. No. Oh, I've got a feeling it's going to be a morning video. <laughs> right, take my glasses off so I can see properly. Right, here's some washi tape. It looks very nice. Should I open it? Because there's a glare on it, isn't it? Um, so there's a white pumpkin with um, very lovely illustration. I don't really use washi tape unless I'm going to stick some watercolour paper down. But I plan to in the future. That's nice. And then we've got some... I think I'll pause the video and just open these. Phew, that took some getting into, I tell you. So this one, it's got some very nice autumn leaves on it. And they are chunky washi tape. Should have had my tape measure, see what size it was, but you get the gist. And that's a very nice illustration also, some... I think it's ram skulls, bed skulls, some autumn leaves or fall leaves. Very nice. <sighs> Where do I start first? There's not much to get into, is there? <laughs> oh, I've got loads of these. I've got the Arteza gel glitter pens. Um, these are hybrid dual markers, metallic markers. Metallic yellow, orange and yellow. Oh, so it must. I'll get some paper. Where are you, paper? Well, I was just babbling on for ages and Ziggy had knocked me video and it's cut off. So I'll do this now. So I've already taken everything out of the box now. And look, Ziggy is sleeping again. So. Um, i done the swatches of the pens, um, they're all right. Um, in those little baggies, I'll just show you, got some 
three stickers yes three that is all some nice stickers but i don't like the edging of it it's like is it holographic well that's that one then there's this one with a crow on it and then there's this one just three stickers that is all and then in the other little baggie we got some palm of violet sweets and two erasers of pumpkins or gods wherever with no leaf on they don't smell but they do look pretty and then the papers we got uh don't like this it looks like a watercolor scene but it's all smudgy and bled much prefer the other side of it then there's this one they look like chinese lantern flowers that one's much better i recently bought some uh, papers um and you know when you can't choose between because they're like double-sided so you'd have to get really two books, wouldn't you? So you could use both sides, but I much prefer this one to that side anyway. Um, another watercolour scene. That one's much better. Now, I thought we'd get, a, you know, like a card um, with the illustration on so you could frame it. And But no. That was the main reason I got this box, because I thought that's what we'd be getting, but no. There's some leaves, and don't like this side. Um, there's some ram skulls with leaves on, and I don't like that side. It's a wooded watercolour scene, and that's just brown ready paper and this side looks nice and then we get some stickers they're on like washi tape washi paper stickers they're quite nice there we go i hate it when your video cuts out and you you can't remember what you said and what you didn't say um oh and then we got this which i thought was a bookmark but it's not so i will get into the cheat sheet now and read what everything is three wide three wide washi tapes i fell in love with the artwork with this box and couldn't decide so you get three washi tapes. Well, I'm glad she put three in. I'm glad she couldn't decide and put three in. Otherwise, the box would have been really empty. Um, and this thing that I thought was a bookmark. It's not. It's a washi tape storage card. Have washi, will travel. Wrap a length of tape around this card so that it always lays flat inside your journal or pencil case. Um, sticker sheet professionally printed on washi paper and kiss cut whatever that means um, glitter vinyl stickers I couldn't resist a little sparkle on these stickers they are scratch and weatherproof and the pencil jewel metallic pens marvel at how these metallic pens look different colours on dark and light paper perfect for adding details with a touch of magic Cute god shaped erases, ideally for removing mistakes from your spell book. Uh, paper collection, double sided paper, perfect for scrapbooking, paper crafting, or making pockets in your journal to hide your secrets. Um, yes, yeah, so that is that. Not impressed, but there you go, that's the box. I will never ever buy another one of these boxes ever again. Right, so this is what we got in the box. I will pause and display it. <sighs> well, I'm not really um, chuffed about this unboxing, but this is what I got in the box. 
Um, I'll zoom in a bit. There. For £35, I do not think it was worth it at all. And if you're going to have to pay postage and packaging on top of that, rip off. Um, um, all I could suggest is look on Timu. <laughs> Because I've just recently got an order of Timu and the value of that was greatly worth more than what was in this box. Um, <sighs> disappointing, but I was curious, so I'm not curious no more. Anyway, enough babbling. I will go now and I'm going to do some artwork and put this stuff away but it won't take long because there's not that much of it anyway johnny signing out see you bye